interest rates are going up, housing affordability is declining, there is uncertainty in the economy and people more than ever are really looking at ways to secure what they've earned over the years of their working lives. If you're tying the knot, this is the last place you want your marriage to end up, the family court. But it seems more and more Australians are taking precautions. We're about to visit a law firm that has seen a 79% increase in BFAs, binding financial agreements, essentially prenups, and they're right across the road. So what is behind this rise in BFAs? The bank of mum and dad, who are transferring their wealth now rather than as part of the will. There's couples who have got an imbalance of wealth. And the other major group would have to be blended families. There's no registry of BFAs, but several private practices estimate requests doubled since the pandemic. The Law Institute of Victoria confirmed the rise, but put the increase lower. With median house prices almost 36% above pre-pandemic levels, high inflation, and a spike in divorce applications, you can see why BFAs are on people's minds. And the bank of mum and dad can demand what they like, being now ranked between the fifth and ninth largest mortgage lender. Young Australians can blame quite a lot on the housing market at this point. Can they also blame it for the death of romance? Look, romance died uh, a long time ago. It's now become part of our psychology that along with wills, along with life insurance, along with proper planning, people are now considering um, financial agreements. Antoinette Sagaria tied the knot in 2019. She and her wife are happily married, but they're getting a BFA and that's partly driven by her job as a real estate agent, where she often helps couples sell properties when things go wrong. It has been a real challenge. It's almost a dress rehearsal to a divorce, which is an awful thing to say. Um, I, we never get there. I have the benefit of knowing exactly how expensive and how difficult and challenging these situations can be. So what arrangements were in place, if any? The uptake of BFAs might be increasing, but there are still plenty not taking the precaution. Youth sociologist Julia Cook has studied how borrowing money from family to buy a home can affect relationships and found of 80 participants in her study, none had a BFA. These conversations were often avoided because people were uncomfortable having them. It's not very nice if you're a parent to be talking to your, your child about what might happen if they divorce their partner. There are some difficult conversations that have to be had, but I would much rather have them from a respectful place and at a point where we do love each other and want the best for each other, rather than through lawyers. Jared and Can, ABC News.